everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name's Simran and I'm a fifth year medic studying at Imperial College London and today I'm about to find out if that fifth year turns into a final year and whew, are we nervous? Oh my god. This was literally such an impromptu thing. I'm so nervous right now and I've been tossing and turning in bed all morning and I was like I need something to distract me. I decided to set up my camera and then record it. I don't know if that's distracting or adding more pressure like like, I still remember the first day at Imperial and I can't believe now I'm opening my results to see if I got into final year and oh my god this is this is the moment guys so obviously this year has been quite difficult with like the open book examinations okay I think the results have come out my friend has just texted me saying hi I think that means they're out oh okay but basically what I was saying was this year has been quite different to what I'm normally used to in terms of taking exams. They've been open book and I did a video on how to study for open book examinations. If anyone's interested, I'll link it here. Yeah, it's just been a bit of a roller coaster. So I hope that the results like I'm like I'm happy with the results and I'm OK with them. So, yeah. OK, let's open them. I don't know if the emails come, but like I may just look at my phone and the email's not there. Who knows? But maybe the email's there. Who knows? Oh, my God. They're here. Okay, it says results, academic results, 2019, 2020. Okay, progression, outcome, decision, proceed. Okay, 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 so we've passed, like that's good. We have proceeded into, okay, okay, we've proceeded into final year. Um, but what do I, okay, so I view my results now. Oh my God, this is the worst. So like the email doesn't say what mark we got and stuff. So I don't know if the next thing is gonna show me the marks. I've never used this system before. Like they've changed the interface for like this e-services thing where we receive like our exam results and stuff. And I've literally never seen this page before. So I think it's my student record. Wait, what? I'm so confused. Okay, specialties written paper. Okay, I got 76%. I don't think that's great, okay. Pathology got 83%. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how I did. Okay. I don't know how I did. Obviously we've got the percentages of like how we did in each exam. I don't think I did that well. Um, but, So let me break down what's just happened. So today we found out if we passed and what percentages we got in each exam. So, I passed and I've gone through to final year which obviously in itself is a massive thing and I'm so happy about it but at the same time like I don't know how I've done because we've only got the percentages we haven't got our rankings within the year and the reason why I'm even bothered about this like normally like in first and second year I really didn't care about my rankings like it did not matter but in third year and fifth year right now like the clinical years these actually count towards something known as FPAS. FPAS is an application system through which you apply for foundation year jobs that you start once you finish medical school. This application is based on a point system. The first 50 points come from the situational judgment test then you have your educational performance measure EPA which makes up the other 50 points. This consists of your medical school performance based on deciles in which you are ranked. Bottom decile will get awarded 34 points, going up a decile gives you one more point, so the highest number of points you can get is 43. At Imperial, this usually depends on your third and your fifth year scores. With an EPM, you also get points for any additional degrees you have, so the maximum number of points you can get is 5 for a PhD, etc. Then you have two more points left in the EPM section which you can get through publications. And obviously just getting the percentages, you don't really know how well you've done, but I don't think I've done that well. In third year, I was really, really happy with my score um, and I was really happy with how I did, but this year, I'm not really sure. But the thing is, I can't really tell like how I've done compared to the rest of the cohort. Guys, I'm gonna call my parents up because obviously they need to know what's going on. Hello, mama. Yeah, I, I passed. I don't know, mom. Like, I don't know, mom. Like, I don't know, yeah, basically they didn't give us our rankings, they just told us what percent we got. Okay, yeah. yeah, I know, but it's so stressful, mom. Like, I don't know how I've done, I don't think I did that well. Okay, okay, we the next week, Yeah, okay. Okay, bye. I don't know, guys, I don't want you to think like I'm crying for no reason, but... The reason why this matters is because like the deanery I want to get into is really competitive and I know it's just a few points but like this kind of stuff really stresses me out and 
like I obviously want to do well and I want to get into the deanery of my choice I want to get into the hospitals that I that are close to home like I don't want to move away from home I don't want to go anywhere else like I just want to stay with my family and the deanery I want to apply to is within the like top five most competitive in the UK and I don't know if it's enough like in the grand scheme of things I still have my SJT I still have like all the other stuff um publications and stuff that I can work on to increase my chances of getting into the deanery I want I think just I need to put everything into perspective and hopefully this is enough like I wasn't gonna cry like I, I was I thought I was being proper strong okay like I was like I'm not gonna cry it's not gonna come out I'm upset but like I'm not that upset that I'm gonna cry on camera but like you know when you talk to your mum like it just comes out guys okay anyway I'll probably insert the clip of me finding out my rankings next you guys will be in the loop, don't you worry. So guys, as you can tell, it's basically the next day and yesterday I literally just spent the day crying in bed um, because I just, I don't know, I don't think I did that well. Um, and today they've released the averages for the exams, which means that I will be able to tell whether I did as good as I did in third year or um, I did worse. Um, and I just hope that I've done as well, but I don't think I have. At this point, I really hope I don't cry anymore because like, I don't think I have any more tears left in me and we'll just see how it goes, right? Um, okay, let me, year five exam breakdown and ranking information. Cool. <laughs> wow, okay. That's absolutely guys. The thing is, like, I don't understand why they literally didn't release everything in one day because, like, I now have to spend, like, two days, like, thinking about this, whereas, like, I could have just thought about it yesterday, cried, and, like, been over and done with, like, oh. so, with my score, I did, like, just about below average, like, <laughs> okay, so, that's that, and the cohort average for my pathology exam was just crazy as well, yeah. Did below average for my pathology exam quite below average actually obviously i'm extremely extremely grateful that i do get to go to final year like without a shadow of a doubt like that is the most important thing the thing is every individual person has a goal that they would like to reach in terms of like you know how well they want to do in the exam etc and for some people this would be sick but for me like for my like the what i expect from myself this is literally not my best performance yeah, I think this is the lowest I've scored in any medical school exam. It's just upsetting to me because I feel like I haven't done my best. I don't know, was I expecting much, like too high of myself? Like, is it because of the style of the exam? Like, I don't know. If I, I don't know, worked harder or like worked more, maybe I would have done better. Saying this out loud, like sim, like what's done is done. I think all I can focus on right now is how to move forward. Uh, I'm gonna smash out final year. I'm gonna do amazingly well in everything else that I have. And I'm gonna try and secure these stupid points some other way because you're gonna stay at home and you know, do your F1, F2 from home. I hope this video kind of highlights the ups and downs of medical school and how even though people say rankings don't matter, all of that stuff, it's okay to be affected by these things, but what the most important thing is, is like how we're gonna go forward, how we're gonna keep moving and ensure that, you know, we try and achieve everything that we want. This doesn't mean anything about my abilities and how like I am as a person, how I will be as a doctor, nothing, okay? Like, I have so much faith in myself that I will do it and I will get to be at home and it will be okay, like, it will be fine. Like, I have faith, I hope you guys have faith too. I just thought that this video is an important video to make because it gives you an insight into the journey of medicine. Hey guys, so it's been two weeks since um, I got my results and as you can tell, I'm feeling much better about it. Um, and I think the more time that passes, the better I feel about this situation. I have had the opportunity to reflect on it by myself, speak to family and friends, and I think it's just helped me put everything into perspective really. Also I wanted to talk about rankings a little bit as well. Um, at medical school it's spoken about quite frequently and the medical school doesn't do it by purpose. They have to have some sort of system in place for them to you know categorize us in some sort of way. Even the medical school doesn't like doing this and our professors have told us as well that they really don't like doing this decile thing either. I think it's so important for us not to let these scores determine how we feel about ourselves and let it you know 
eat away at us because that's what's happened for me. Um, after I got my results, I was feeling this sort of self-doubt that like, you know, am I good enough? And I think this has been there constantly since I started at Imperial. When something like this happens, it just exaggerates this sort of feeling. But at the end of the day, what we have to remember is that, you know, we can't let scores, deciles, rankings, any of this define how we feel about ourselves. At the end of like your five, six years, we're all gonna come out as incredible doctors and wanting the best for our patients. And that's the most important thing. I think in general, what this situation has done for me has motivated me and it's like pushed me to work even harder for next year. It's coming up to my last few months of being in formal education. And for most of my life, that's all I've known. And I'm gonna be entering the world of work, which is so new to me. And at the same time nerve wracking and it's that last stretch of really fulfilling that dream that I saw for myself back in the day when I was 14 years old. We gotta give it our all, but not because of the rankings, the deciles, the percentages, any of that, but most importantly for the patients that we're going to be looking after and taking care of in the future. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you found this video insightful and make sure you like and um, leave a comment down below. And if you want to join me on my journey throughout medical school, well, the last stretch of medical school, Cool. make sure you click the subscribe button. Thank you so much guys.